all right, my dear. You're going to be all right. Don't worry. You're all right. You were playing your concert and you fainted. You're all right. That's all right, my dear. You just fell off the stage into the bass drum. You <laughs> straight all the way You'll be all right, my dear. Oh, I remember now my concert. It was my debut at Prince Edward Hall. The biggest event in my career. I started to play. And my fingers wouldn't move. I couldn't play. Why? Why did it happen? Pamela, Why? Pamela, you, you have a great strain. You had a great decision to make, Pamela. You've been under a great strain ever since you've been in this house. I can remember the first day, the first day you came into the house. I remember it was a beautiful day in May. I remember because it was raining cats and dogs that day. <laughs> yes, I remember I was playing a game of chess with Dr. Peterson, yes. <laughs> I think I have you, Sir Thomas. Yes, I shall move my pawn to... Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Da, yes, I do have you. I have you at the hip this time. I shall have you checkmated by moving my bishop to queen four. Eh? Ha. Now, what move will you make? What have you to say to that, eh? Uh, you think I can't move, eh? No, no, no. Can't make it move. That's what I know. No. Uh, you think I can't move, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think I'd make that move, did you? Sir Thomas, why have you become so violent? It's only a simple game of chess. Bob! Your simple game bore me. Yes, <laughs> yes, Sir Thomas. The trouble with you is that you have no outside interests. All you can think of is your music. Nothing but music, music, music. That's all you ever think of. What else is there for me? What else is there? My whole life is music. I eat music, I sleep music, I live music, I breathe music. In the air, I hear music, everywhere else is music. Why, if it weren't for music, I go stark raving mad. <laughs> uh, Thomas, speaking not only as your physician, but also as your friend, I must warn you that you have got to release this tension and find some outside interest. For example, you have recently been made guardian of young Pamela Habershaw. Now, she's due here this very afternoon to see you and to stay with you. Now, why not take an interest in her, take her under your wing, become interested in her? Ah! Little child coming in to invade my privacy? No. <laughs> the child. Do you know who the child is, Doctor? The child is from one of my greatest pupils, Millicent. Do you remember her? <laughs> I could have made her the greatest pianist in the entire world. But she betrayed me on the eve of her greatest concert at Prince Edward's Hall. She eloped and married a, a trapeze artist. <laughs> Shame. Yes, she fell for this trapeze artist. And then one day he fell. Yes. <laughs> it broke her heart. He fell on her, broke her heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the strange fates, and now I am her guardian. Guardian's child. Miss Pamela Haversheen, sir. She's here. Ah, yes. Now, here's your golden opportunity. Now, be good to her. Will you be gentle with her? I, I can leave you alone. I'll try. Show the young lady in. How do you do, sir? How do you do? <laughs> young lady. I am your new guardian. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Take your hat off. Sit down. Have some tea. Discipline! <laughs> That's what I'll have while you're under my roof. Shall obey every word I say. Stand up, child. Let me have a look at you. Mm. Let me see your hand. Yes, that's right. You have your mother's hand. She could have been the greatest pianist in the world. But she betrayed me. But you have her hands. Play something for me, my dear. Oh, no, I can't play. You are my ward. I command you to play something for me. I won't play the piano. I hate the piano. I 
that's a favor. True genius. <laughs> Look here, my dear. Did you see your hands again? They are your mother's hands. Pinkies are in the right place. <laughs> Thumbs and everything. But they're a bit small, my dear. Here, you should stretch them a little. <laughs> now we shall make it a little larger here. There we are. One up two. Two octaves, three octaves. There you are. You are now a four octave girl. <laughs> now, my dear, you have the hands. But you must have the heart. And in order to have the heart for playing the piano, you must learn to suffer. I shall show you that. Sit down. When you play the piano, you must suffer. Suffering. See? See the boo boo over there? <laughs> yeah. Now, my dear. Stand up. Over to the piano. Your schedule will be 12 hours a day at the piano. You shall live, eat, and breathe piano. Your lessons will start as of now. your concert in Prince Edward's Hall. My dear, you are now ready. You are tight as a drum. You're, you're in top condition. You're like a finely precisioned watch. You're like a spring that's coiled to be sprung. And now, my dear, go to your room. <laughs> What have you done to that girl? I hardly recognize her. You've taken the bloom of youth from her cheeks. Are oh, you blithering, idiot? You realize what I've done? In seven short years, I've taken a raw, ignorant girl and made her a talented, nervous wreck. <laughs> Tomorrow night, you realize, she plays her first concert at Prince Edward's Hall. Yes, that's exactly what I mean, Sir Thomas. She must relax. I have an idea. Why not give her a treat tonight? Take her out. Perhaps to dinner, some champagne. Let her enjoy herself. What do you say? You have a point there. Good. Tomorrow night, the concert, let her celebrate. Good. Let her relax, eh, what? Good. Good. We'll take it out for some champagne and relaxation. Bully! <laughs> this is exciting. I had no idea there were such places. My darling, relax. This evening, forget about your music. Forget about the concert. Tonight is for you to have fun. You should relax with some champagne. Waiter! <laughs> you should relax with some champagne. Say some uh, Mama's 22. Mama's 22, sir. Yes, that's a good, a good champagne to relax with, eh, what? Good here! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chuck Peters on Len Lease from Good Old USA. Welcome you to Devonshire Hall. <laughs> I'd like to say to the boys and myself, we're very happy to be here in merry old England. 
I'm going to start off with a little tune. That's one of our particular favorites. We hope it's one of yours, too. Hit it, Bobbins. Love is the sweetest thing What else on earth could ever bring Such happiness to everything As love's sweet story <laughs> Love is the strangest thing Take a look, man. <laughs> Good evening, Dr. Peterson. How are you? Ah, Chuck, my boy, how are you? So good to see you. Uh, Chuck Peters, I should like you to meet Sir Thomas Birchtree. How would you do? Yes. Thomas. <laughs> Miss Pamela Habersham. Miss Habersham. Well, <laughs> well, it, I, I'm sure it can't be much fun for Pamela sitting here with two old fogies such as we. Eh? <laughs> Why don't you two youngsters go and have a dance for you? Have you like it? Of course not. Pamela, I've never met a girl like you before. I never met a man before. Pamela, I feel as if lightning is bursting all around us. I feel as if the sky were going to fall down on my head. Pamela, trumpets are blaring from my heart. Three symphony orchestras playing at once. Bach, Brahms, Beethoven. Pamela, I love you. I love you too. Pamela, will you marry me? I thought you'd never ask me. <laughs> Sir Thomas. Yes, Pamela? We're engaged. We're going to be married tomorrow. I want you to cancel my concert. I'm never going to play the piano again. Touch. Never going to play the piano again. No, Sir Thomas. No, no, no. no Sir Let me get one shot. Let me get one shot. I want to get in. You will see your young man again. He shall soon be well. After all, it was only a glancing blow. Now, just a <laughs> You and your confounded ideas. But I must control yourself. Control yourself, control yourself. Not me, control yourself. I'm controlling myself. You control yourself, myself, yourself. <laughs> now, that's the last of the relaxation that you'll have, Hannah. I've taken you out as an English gentleman. And you fall for an American jitterbug, one of them bloop leaps or blop blops, whatever they are. <laughs> no, you shan't relax again. You are not ready for your concert at, at Prince Edward's Hall tomorrow. No, you're not. Tomorrow we shall go on tour of the continent. We shall leave tomorrow. And you should practice every moment that we are, we are away. Now, go to your piano. We leave for the continent tomorrow. Well, who knows what will? <laughs> I'm not afraid of you any longer. I know now there are other things in life besides music. There's love and there's happiness. And I'm going to have them. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be free. I'm going to be happy, 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 you hear? I've had enough of this. <laughs> taking that girl away on tour because she isn't ready for her concert. You're jealous of that boy she met tonight. You are in love with Pamela. Are you mad? Preposterous! <laughs> I am in love with Pamela. Are you crazy? You must be out of your mind. I am in love with Pamela. <laughs> you fool, you. I am in love with Pamela. Come here, Pamela. I am in love with her. <laughs> 
Quite a bit of acting on my part, if I do must say so myself. What? You mean to say... That That's right. Now she shall never marry. She shall play for me alone. She shall play as she never played before. Because now she knows what it is to suffer. I certainly don't envy him when he discovers that he really is in love with her, while she, of course, is in love with the band leader chap who's also in love with her. But he will never marry her. Or will he? Ah, well, only time will tell. Very good, isn't she? Very good. Isn't she good? She's very good, yes, indeed. Very good. That's how it all, all happened. But she still has to make her decision. Pamela, Pamela, it's all right, my dear. You're coming out of it now all right. But you've been in a terrible maelstrom of indecision. You must stop this indecision immediately. You must choose now between art and work or love and happiness. Which is it to be? Pamela, think of all the work we've done. The grand concert tour of the continent. You can't give that all up, can you? Pamela, stick with me. We'll have fun. Fun and a lot of laughs. And you'll hear music you can whistle. Choose, Pamela. I've made my choice. Life and happiness and music I can whistle. Tough luck, old man. Come on, baby. Thanks for the piano lessons. <laughs> Thanks for the piano lesson. 